guys, Crispy here. Um, today we're going to be doing a let's play of My Summer Car. So basically this is a car building simulation, um, racing, survival, uh, very frustrating game. <laughs> so essentially we're going to build this car bolt by bolt and then we are more than likely going to crash it and break it and die um, not the goal the goal is to turn it into a rally car and go on a rally there's a couple of storylines we can do in this game so we will try and get some of that done um, so the options you have here basically choose your starting color um, which will be all rusty so it doesn't really doesn't really matter which color you choose because the plan is to paint it when it's all finished, so we'll, we'll just pick that. Uh, we'll go new game. So down the bottom, this is where you turn your permadeath on or off. So we're going to leave it off. Um, for the name, we are going to go with the last name of String. And the first name is obviously Crispy being crispy string um, you can also change your um, files in the game to have like a picture here for your license but I don't think you actually see this again I'm not entirely certain um, so I'm going to begin and it's going to load my mods which we'll go through a bit later um, and there's going to be a cutscene which I'm going to skip because it's rather graphic so let's begin. So yeah, cloud in the year 1995. So when the game loads, we'll notice um, in the top left are basically our survival bars. So we've got thirst, hunger, stress, urine, fatigue, and dirtiness. Now, I believe the only one that you can't die from is dirtiness. That's cool. I want one of them. And that's the plan. We'll get something like that. Alright, so this is the house that we have. Um, basically, a rundown is here on the fridge. There's a note. Don't be lazy. Fix your dad's old car. Uncle's blue van can be loaned. Don't drink alcohol. We will come back when we get bored. Yours, mum and dad. Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a house tour. That's what we're going to do first. It sounds like we've got a thunderstorm as well. Alright. Um, so, yeah. We'll go through here. So, we've got the fridge, which, for realism's sake, we'll put the beer in the fridge. This game has some pretty wacky physics. Um, all right, so we've got a pantry for storage. Uh, this oven works. It's how we make coffee. Um, however, it's one of the ways that you can burn your house down. So you can't leave it unattended. There's a notebook here that we can write stuff in to remember later. And you, you can see the screen starting to sway a little bit because of the beer. The more you drink, the, the worse it gets. Uh, water here, which we can use Q to lean over and drink. Now in here we've got the laundry that doesn't really have any use at the moment. Uh, we've got the shower, which is how we get rid of our dirtiness. So to turn it on is that left side and then the toggle between um, the tap and the, the shower is that one there. So we'll be using this room frequently. In here we've got the sauna which is to reduce our stress level but it's also one of the ways that we can burn the house down. So you can also reduce your stress through, there's a, there's a few different ways, um, smoking is one of them. Um, so we, we could buy some cigarettes from the shop. Um, so out the back, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this house here. This is Uncle's house. Now he's not here at the moment because his blue van is not here. 
when we see that blue van that means we've got the option to uh, loan the blue van from him right so there's a little present there so we'll go back and get that in a second over in uh, this direction we have a barn we've got a trailer and we've also got a tractor so that tractor I believe is the only thing that can pull that trailer um, we've got some firewood there that we can chop uh, a bit later and here we have a diesel um, jerry can as we call them here so I'm just gonna see if this has any diesel in the jerry can uh, we're gonna open it like that oh yep there is some in it so we'll, uh, we'll completely empty it and then we'll We'll take this jerry can back to the house. So one day we'll go to the uh, the shop and we'll get that filled up. You can get an achievement by driving all the way to the shop in the tractor, which I've already done, so I don't need to go through that, that snail's pace journey ever again. Because the, the tractor, although it's fairly hardy, um, it's the slowest vehicle that there is. Um, Alright, so now we've got two things to bring back. We'll come back for the present in a second. Right, so we'll just put that there. Open the door. Well, I suppose we could have gone around the house. Yeah, so that's our pride and joy. The chassis of a, of a Satsuma, as it's called in this game. Pretty sure it's based off of a Datsun. Right, so this is our garage with most of the parts to build our car. Most of them. So we are going to have to go on a bit of an adventure to find the rest of them. So we've got a, a gasoline jerry can, as, as well as the diesel jerry can, which is not doing what I want it to do. Like that, and then like that. Okay, that'll do. Um, so here we go. This is the flywheel. Now this is very important. The way I play this game Right, this catalog here is what we use to upgrade the car. Right, so we can buy spoilers and whatnot here. Rims, um, aesthetics, extra bits. Now here is the racing flywheel. Right, now I'm gonna order that. I'm also gonna order the ratchet set. Right, so that's gonna cost us, you know, close to two grand. So, We'll take this envelope and we're going to take this to the shop. All right, that's our goal for today, is to get that envelope to the shop. Now, if we look at the map, so where the cursor is, that's our house there, right? Over here, that's the shop, right? So we've, we've got two choices, basically. We can take a vehicle like the moped, or the tractor, drive down here, down here, and then around to the shop, or we can walk down here and take the boat, which is probably the better idea, because um, then yeah, we can stop off at the island on the way back, because there's a few things there that we have to pick up as well. So basically we have like a family cottage there. Um, so what we're, oh, I probably just dented the car then. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll walk down here to the boat. We'll, we'll head across to the shop. So 
put this like that. And then we'll enter driving mode. So we've got three options here. We've got the starter, gear select, and the engine shove. So we'll pull the starter. And then we want to go into first. So basically there's there's three gears in this first neutral and reverse.
shut off. Let's put that there like that. Let's grab our envelope. Like that. Right, um, another way to do this is to bring the moped in the, um, the boat there and then drive to the shop. But, I mean, it's really not too far. Yeah, a lot of these houses, um, they don't have things inside of them. Like, you can just look in and you can see that it's just a, a shell to make the world look more complete. Um, I think a couple of the houses have bits and pieces inside of them because there's storylines to them and whatnot. Now that building over there, where the envelope is, basically, um, that's where we have to take the car to get it inspected when we finish building it. And if we pass the inspection, we will get number plates for the car. And here we are at the shop, which conveniently for us is open from Monday to Saturday, 10 until 8. And this is the post box here, so we'll whack that in the post. Now here's where we refuel. So we've got gasoline, diesel, and red diesel, which is illegal. Um, so we don't want to fill up with that and then get caught by the cops. Um, when you spawn here, after you die, there's basically two ways to get out of here. Um, a bus will come and stop here. It will cost 25 marks to get a bus ticket and it basically circles the highway of the map with a few bus stops that you can choose to stop at um, and then eventually it returns here. The other way is the player has a cousin who drives around in a green car. He circles the inner dirt track um, and then he'll do a loop around here and then he'll go back down the dirt track down that way. So let's go into the shop. So we can't spend too much money yet, but we need to buy a couple of things. Eight to the dishes and dishes to the dishwasher. Whatever, buddy. This is Timo. He's uh, the shopkeeper and the bartender. Right, so... Uh, so we are going to need to buy some stuff for the car. Uh, we're going to need... Did you know he used to be a wrestler? Not oh, professional yeah, though. Oh, interesting. Um, actually we might buy the car stuff later. But if, if you want to buy the stuff straight away, you need one alternator belt, three brake or clutch fluids. Oh, there's the rain. We'll see you. I'm not leaving, buddy. Um, you need one coolant, uh, one oil, and you need one box of spark plugs. The car battery and oil filter are not necessary as there are some at the garage. However, they are very old and I generally buy these before I build the car. Um, so what we want is six sugars. Uh, we want one packet of yeast and we want all the juice. And we'll show you what that's for in a little while. So that's gonna cost us 128. Now we gotta remember that we posted our letter and that's gonna cost us nearly two grand. So we need to keep things at a fair minimum. So we might buy, might buy all the chips. That's 247. And we'll buy one one mosquito spray. So we'll basically supply a few things up and we'll get some coffee. Because we'll need that too. So 300. That's not too bad. Now we've got the shopping bag. So we'll carry that. There's there's the bus there. So we can we'll go see the bus driver actually. Basically, he's got a few rooms on the bus. Um, like you, 
you can't smoke, you can't swear too much. Um, eventually he will just stop the bus until you leave the bus. And he'll abandon you in the middle of the highway. Um, so basically if you jump on the bus and be a good little passenger, you'll be fine. Let's get this back to the boat. But yeah, when we get back home, if it's still stormy like this, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the phone. And so that we don't have a green and we accidentally get electrocuted. Because we seriously don't want that. But yeah, a bit more about the shop. So, Monday to Saturday, 10 to 8. Um, at 8pm he'll shut the shop, turn off the gas pumps, and he'll walk to the next door section of the, of the building, and then he'll open the pub, which is open from 8pm until 2am, and after that he will then leave, and he will go home until 10am the following day. Uh, so this is a bit close, so we're going to press J to bring out our push technique. to the boat and start her up yeah. so we'll head to your oh, time to say
This is what we came for. This is what we need to bring home. Right? So we'll put that outside. Um, and then in here, we have another sauna. Right? Um, now, I haven't tested it, but I assume this can burn down, just like like the, uh, the one in the house. Here we can sleep on the couch. We have a few other items that we can take. So we're going to take the the kettle and the coffee cup and the rest we're going to leave here. So this is a bag of fireworks um, and then we've got a camera. Now this is the only form of light in this place. So if you do come here to stay the night um, that's your only form of light besides the fire outside and the fire in the sauna um, which don't provide a lot of light now this this is very important so we've got a fish trap here basically I like to set it up so that it opens to the sky um, so we could go and put this fish trap on the boat and take it back home but what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here because no, no physics I said that way there we go um, if you put it at the house you will catch less fish than around this island so we we'll, might we'll move it a bit deeper actually about there yep that's good there um, and we're going to need fish for grandma so grandma is going to call us and she's going to ask for one of two things which is going to be some fish or she's going to want some items from Timo's shop oh, that nearly fell out. Um, so if she asks for the fish we've already got it prepared here and then all we have to do is take the boat across to, the, to here and uh, pick up the fish and then take them to grandma so we can either take them raw or cooked she will pay more for them cooked so we'll, we'll cook them here before we bring them to her so we've got the most important things so let's head home it's good the, uh, the fog has cleared up a bit alright let's enter drive mode I like to sort of sit on the left side of the boat but that's just my my preference alright into first so, so here's that dipping trees that I was talking about so I'm going to aim for the centre of that basically I'm going to aim for the, the left and I'm going to just sort of loop around so that I'm facing the island for next time we're going up because there's, there's a few different jetties that you can take the boat to like the, the demon man over there the new dancer I'm pretty sure wherever the mechanic is, which might be over there, they will have um, jetties. So if you're ever in a, in a pickle and you need to get to a vehicle that you've lost, the boat is a good way to go. So, in a lot of things, let's play as well.
shut off neutral. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so grab the bucket and the coffee pan or the kettle. Shopping bag and the coffee mug, which I'm not going to throw because it it's very light. It just flies basically. So now we've got a few trips back and forth, um, since we can only carry one thing at a time. There is a backpack mod that I do have installed, but I'm not going to use yet. We'll go into mods a bit later. Um, but the the backpack mod is it's called Carry More, and it is a game changer. It is, I think it's essential, basically. But you you can play the game in vanilla mode or with mods, whatever, whatever you prefer. So what we'll do, oh, I probably shouldn't have put that on the car, <laughs> just dent the car a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll go back and forth a bit, I'll get these items to the front door and then we'll pick it up from there. That's everything brought from from the jetty there. Now the coffee pan we will put there. Coffee mug we'll put next to it, I guess so. Now this is important, we'll get this going soon. This is how we brew alcohol, essentially. Um, very strong alcohol that we are going to sell. And I left my back door open. Lucky we live in the middle of nowhere. Um, and the shopping bag, which we will open in here. And we'll shut that. Now since it's a thunderstorm, I am going to unplug the phone. Let's get some lights on. What time is it? It's nearly, nearly nine o'clock at night. So with the bags, which is so much better than it used to be, you used to have to just explode the bags. Um, now with the bags, you can take one item out at a time. The only thing is you can't choose which item. So, that's juice, juice, that's coffee, so that can go up there, sugar we need here, chips can go over there, so I like to try and keep a few things organised, so that I know where everything is when I need it. Um, so after I unpack the bags, I generally make everything tidy. Like I'll go put all the chips on the shelf and that sort of thing. Put all the cold stuff in the fridge. So yeah, all these juice bottles we are going to have to drink. Um, but what we're going to do for now is we're going to take this into here and that's starting to fill up okay so let's open that oh don't like that so all those chips I'll put into the cupboard up here. Sort of like that, towards the back. Like that. Now this is time consuming, but I mean a lot of people will just throw their stuff wherever they need it. I just prefer to keep it all neat and tidy, that's, that's just my preference. Uh, that's nearly done. Um, 
something else that we get in this game is bills that we have to pay. Uh, we don't get a water bill at this stage, but I'm sure that's coming. Um, we do get a phone bill and a electricity bill. So generally, if I'm not here or if I'm asleep, I'll have most, if not all, of the lights turned off. Um, because it does change the amount that you have to pay. And the phone bill is just, I guess it depends on how many phone calls you get. Let's see if that's finished. Yep, that looks good. Alright, so we're going to have to be careful not to tip this out. As he says, as he smashes it into the, the wall thing. Um, Alright, so we want exactly six sugar and one yeast. And that should make a perfect batch. So all we have to do is drop it in there. So we can see the bottom has gone all sugary. And now we'll put that back on. And I like to give it a stir. And then we'll hear it start to bubble. We'll go we'll go put it in the uh, laundry. It should start bubbling soon. We don't need that anymore. So basically that will continue to bubble until it's ready. And when it's ready, we fill it up with the juice bottles there. Speaking of which, um, we need to reduce our hunger level and having some juice will do just that. So we'll put that there. Nothing like a bit of uh, juice at 9.30 at night. Yeah, there you go. You hear that bubble? So the uh, the brew is brewing along nicely. So it's bubbling quite quick. Um, those bubbles will uh, space out as time goes on. Um, so the closer it is to being ready, the less bubbles that it will make. So we've got our hunger down to minimum now, um, but I'm going to drink all of these. Just so that we've got the, I think it's six. Yeah, six empty bottles there. So basically, oh, we need to pee. Our urine has gone to the red, so as our thirst. All right, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. So essentially with the red bars, um, the white bar, when it fills up, it hits red, and that's at 100%. The game will allow you to go to 200% of each bar before it will kill you, um, but it doesn't tell you how far you are through um, between 100 and 200%. Now we can just walk up to the toilet here and go for a pee by pressing P, funnily enough. Um, towards the end it will start to just dribble out, you then release the P button and then just hold the P back down, just like that. And that'll get the, the last little bits out. Now, I prefer to pee in the toilet for realism's sake, but you don't have to. You can pee wherever you want. Right, so we'll grab a drink here and see how the urine bar has shot back up, which is fine because now we can go for another pee, but we're going to do it in the shower. So to turn the shower on, it's that that one turned on and that one to toggle. So we just have to stand in this water and you can see the dirtiness bars start to go down. And we're going to go for a pee <laughs> in the shower. Yeah. And then it's just fatigue that we have to worry about which is pretty good because in this game I tend to not like uh, I don't I sort of aim to go to sleep after 10pm um, so then 
then I'll pretty much be guaranteed that it'll be uh, daytime and like the shop, for example, will be open. Um, or pretty close to it. So we'll put these last packets of chips in here. Like so. Like that, like that. Alright, so now we can call that a day. Um, so what we'll do is we... I like to leave this light on overnight. Um, purely because that phone can ring overnight um, for the drunk guy's story, which we will do in a later video. Um, but right now, because of the storm that was there, and the fact that we don't have a vehicle to pick him up in, um, I'm just going to leave it unplugged overnight. And that will do for oh, yeah. episode one of this Let's Play. So, thank you very much for watching. And this has been Crispy. And as a added bonus, I am giving away a copy of this game on my Twitch. Uh, link is in the description. Um, the conditions of the competition are on my Twitch channel. So thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.